Here on Techspert and also for a combo, I shoot a lot of 4K video, generally every single day. For that, you obviously need a camera that can record in Ultra HD, but you also need a dependable and fast memory card as well. So what sort of SD memory card is suitable for shooting 4K video on, for instance, a DSLR camera such as my Panasonic GH5? And which memory cards would I recommend? Well, here's all you need to know. So if you're new to shooting video, chances are you've looked at the slew of memory cards available on Amazon and now you've got a bit of a sore head and that's no surprise. When you want to shoot a lot of 4K video, you might think that all that matters is the storage space on the memory card and that is very important because 4K files take up a lot of space. But take a squint at the label on any memory card and you will see lots more info on there. These things are an absolute state with all these different little icons and ratings. So first of all, let's start by covering the important ones and what you need to look out for when you want to record 4K video specifically. First up, size. If your card has SDHC written on it, that just means that it's an SD card with high capacity memory. In other words, you get between 2 gigs or 32 gigs of storage. On the other hand, if your card says SDXC, that stands for SD card with extreme capacity. And that indicates a card that has at least 64 gigs of space, all the way up to two terabytes of storage. The exact amount of storage space will be clearly marked on your chosen card. And I definitely recommend grabbing a minimum 32 gig card and preferably a 64 gig card if you're gonna shoot quite a bit of 4K video. For reference sake, a 64 gigabyte memory card such as this one here will shoot an hour and 23 minutes of 4K resolution video on my Panasonic. The Speed Class 10 rating, which is indicated here by a little 10 inside of a circle, basically guarantees the card has a minimum sustained writing speed of at least 10 megabytes per second. This 10 rating is the highest that you can get right now, and it's absolutely essential to have that for shooting non-stop 4K video. If you go for a slower Class 6 card, for instance, it'll just fall on its ass pretty pronto. Modern cards also come with all kinds of other speed standards slapped on them as well, which is just all kinds of confusing if you don't know what to look out for. For example, V30 is another speed guarantee rating, if your card has got V30 on it, that basically means it can record video at speeds of at least 30 megabytes per second. What that means is your card will be able to handle all formats of video recording, including 4K Ultra HD and even 3D and theoretically 8K. So the big question is, do you need a V30 card in order to shoot 4K video? Well, most videographers and of course all memory card manufacturers will insist that V30 is essential when you're gonna be shooting a lot of Ultra HD and fair enough, V30 cards will basically guarantee no issues when shooting at 4K. However, that said, I have used plenty of class 10 cards which aren't V30 certified for shooting 4K video and I've had absolutely no problems whatsoever. Of course, there are all kinds of other factors to consider, such as the frame rate you're shooting at, stuff like that. So I'd say just for peace of mind, basically you might as well get a V30 card if you're gonna be shooting 4K. After all, if you can afford to stamp out a whole load of cash on a 4K compatible camera, you can probably afford the extra 10 or so to get a V30 card. Now the first card that I would recommend is the SanDisk Extreme Pro range. I've been using SanDisk cards for like a decade now and they never fail, they are incredibly reliable. They're also durable as hell. For one, they're IPX7 water resistant, which means they can be submerged to depths of up to a meter for around 30 minutes or so. And they can also resist up to 500 Gs of shock, not to mention temperatures up to 85 degrees centigrade or down to minus 25. And they're also x-ray proof as well to boot. So basically, when we all finally lose the plot and blow each other to shiny sh with nuclear weapons, only two things will survive, cockroaches and SanDisk memory cards. The SanDisk Extreme Pro is usually my go-to card for shooting 4K video. They're all class 10 and all of the sizes support V30 video speeds up to the 256GB model. The quartered read speeds of up to 95 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 90 megs per second are pretty much bang on as well. An alternative option is the Kingston Canvas series. Like SanDisk Extreme, these things are tough as a bag of old nails encased in concrete. They're waterproof, shockproof, temperature proof, and once again, X-ray proof, just like the SanDisk Extreme. This time you get a choice as well. They start off with the basic Canvas Select, which is a class 10 card, which tops off at 10 megabytes per second for the write speeds. Next up is the Canvas Go, which is V30 level and records it up to 45 megabytes per second. So that's absolutely fine for your 4K. And then there's this bad boy here, the Kingston Canvas React, which tops off at 80 megabytes per second, basically making it future-proof. Not only are these Canvas cards perfectly suited to 4K video recording, they're also a bit cheaper than the SanDisk equivalents on Amazon as well, so good if you want to save a little bit of cash. Nice stuff. Now right there is my rundown of what kind of memory cards will suit you if you want to shoot a bit of 4K video at home. Hope that's been helpful. Uh, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe and ding that notifications bell for lots more on the latest tech and gadgets and all kinds of shenanigans. And as always, love you, bye.